Is she Ray Foundation? Is she not? We'll never know. Darcy! Well, well, well. Guess who just rolled out of bed? Me. As if you can't tell. I'm wearing Kai on my shirt and my hair is in the messiest bun you've ever seen in your life. But today is my wedding day, or at least we're gonna pretend it is. Manifesting. Sophia Richie recently got married and everybody on social media has been talking about it. She got married in the south of France. It was absolutely gorgeous. And her husband got that guy, you know the guy that sings that song that's like, I would never fall in love again. So uh, he got that guy to come to the wedding and sing that song while she's walking down the aisle. But here's the kicker. It was personalized to put her name inside the song. So it was like, Sophia. Sophia. I'll never let you go again. And that... Sophia has been stuck in my head for the last month now. Basically, she had my dream wedding. If my husband ever did something like that for me, I'd burst into tears. Manifesting. Now, I've seen tons of recreations of this makeup look, but I've only seen it on lighter skin tones. And I wanted to know, well, what would this makeup look like on me? I'm gonna try to recreate this makeup look as closely as possible. And luckily, Sophia's makeup artist actually posted the exact products that she used on Sophia on her wedding day. Her makeup artist was Patty Dubroff. And Patty posted on TikTok the products that she used on Sophia. So let's check it out. Hi, I'm makeup artist Patty Dubroff, and I'm here at the new set court. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I used to get Sophia Richie's wedding makeup look. And there's also lots of photos of Sophia that we can use as reference. But before we get started, here's a quick message from today's partner. <laughs> Hello there. Thank you to Kara for partnering with me on this video. This year, I'm really focusing on my health, guys. At the end of the day, honestly, your health is all you have. That and all your K-pop photo cards. And Kara makes it easy for you. Kara is a subscription service that ships high quality personalized vitamins, supplements, and powders to your door every month. They're made from good for you, clean ingredients, and are backed by the latest science and research so you can feel good about what you're putting in your body. Before I discovered Kara, I was not taking any vitamins. It's just like extremely overwhelming. There's just, there's so many vitamins. I'm like, how do I know this was a date? What do I do? And that's where care of makes it easy because guess what? They got a quiz. And you know, I love taking quizzes. Their quick quiz will ask you about your diet, your lifestyle, health goals, and then they'll recommend the right vitamins to you. It's so easy. And then care of sent me a pill pack. Look, it even has my name on it. Hi, Kara. I don't know about you, but your girl likes to eat. And sometimes the things that I eat are not that great for me. Okay, nobody's perfect. But Kara, make sure I stay on track. Gut Check is the one supplement that I can't live without. This is an on-the-go probiotic, and it's so good for your digestion. So I'm always taking these, especially during my time of the month. You guys know what I'm talking about. Ever since I've been taking these, my digestion has been a lot better. But I won't get into any detail. Get nasty. And you guys can use my code, MissDarcy50, for 50%. 50% off. That's five zero, guys. So if you want to start your health journey, let Care of help you. And use my code MissDarcy50 to get 50% off your order. Thanks again, Care of. Now back to the video. Okay, so step one. Girl, we got to fix this hair. Let me take this down, see what we're working with. Not bad. Last night I put in some rosemary oil into my hair. But my hair feels really, really soft and it's parted down the middle. So I think that's a good start for the hairstyle that we're gonna do. So basically, I'm gonna pull my hair into a low bun. But I have learned from previous videos that if I put my bun too low, I tend to look like one of America's founding fathers or like a brown egg. Personally, I feel like I look better with a ponytail, but we're not gonna do that. I'm gonna bring my hair a little bit more forward so that it's on my forehead. I feel like a big old oil slick. I don't know how people do this whole slick back bun thing because I think I look awful in it. So Sophia. I don't know how people do this hairstyle without looking like I freshly laid egg. I look freshly hatched. Just fry up some butter and crack me in a pan. So I think the first and most important step in the makeup look is actually skincare. So we're gonna start off with that. I'm gonna take my Caudalie grape water <laughs> and I'm just gonna spray my face. 
What does this do? I don't know. It's very hydrating. And I want my skin to be super moisturized today. Then I'm gonna follow up with the Caudalie. Oh, I'm very fancy today. The Caudalie Vino Perfect. This is a brightening serum and also super hydrating. Then I'm gonna take some of my Biosans oil. This is my favorite skincare product of all time. I use this every single day. I literally have to tip it out of the bottle because there's not a lot left. And this is gonna give my skin that Sophia Richie glow. So her makeup artist didn't mention any skin prep, but you can tell from the photos that her skin was prepped very, very well and that she probably takes very, very good care of her skin in general. So let's keep that in mind. Her makeup artist also didn't mention any foundation, concealer, or powder on Sophia's skin. So this has caused a lot of debate online on whether or not she was wearing foundation at all. Now, just because her makeup artist didn't mention that she was wearing foundation, doesn't mean that she wasn't wearing foundation. I think a lot of people are under the impression that these celebrities are perfect and that they don't need foundation or concealer. Let's remember that they are also human beings, okay? But if you look at the photo, I think it's pretty clear that she's at least wearing concealer. Today, I'm gonna be using the MAC Silky Primer. I've actually never used this before, so I'm kind of taking a risk here. So I'm gonna use this as the base for my makeup, and then I'm gonna go in with a foundation and concealer. Okay, so skin is looking prime, prepped, and ready. Let's start with foundation. So we don't know what foundation that Sophia Richie was wearing. I personally believe that she was wearing foundation, a very natural looking one. She might have even been wearing just like a BB cream or something. But her makeup artist only mentions products from Nude Sticks and Chanel because Sophia is affiliated with Nude Stick. And I think her makeup artist is affiliated with Chanel. I think I read that somewhere. So it makes sense that she's mostly only mentioning those two brands. I'm going to use the Chanel foundation, this one that went viral on TikTok. This is actually one of my favorite foundations. And I use this whenever I want like a really natural looking base. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this on the back of my hand. And that's what it looks like, isn't it? So cool. And then you just mix it up and then start applying just a really light layer on my face. You want it to look like you're barely wearing any foundation, like people are debating online. Is she wearing foundation? Is she not? We'll never know. So I'm pretty much just dabbing this on and I'm just gonna go over that with a sponge to make it look even more natural. Next, I'm gonna go in with a color corrector. Sophia did not have any darkness around her eyes, so we're gonna go in with a little bit of that, and I'm gonna do some around the lip. I'm gonna blend that out with my finger. Good damn mustache, girl. <laughs> I mean, unless you wanna have a mustache on your wedding day. Everyone has their preferences. I'm gonna go under my eye, and then whatever it's left over, I'm putting on top of my eye, too. Now I'm going to apply some concealer. Again, you want a really light layer of everything, almost like you're not wearing any makeup at all. Her makeup artist also doesn't mention anything on her brows, but that is impossible! Looking at the photo, so I'm gonna fill in my brows just a little bit, just a little, giving the brows a little bit of definition. I'm just gonna pull them out a little bit farther, fill them in a tiny bit. I'm also gonna fill in my arch a little bit so that my brows are a little bit straighter. You guys see the subtle difference there? Ooh. I'm trying to be super, super light-handed. You guys know I got a heavy hand. Okay, now let's blend out this concealer. This is actually turning out so beautiful. So this is just the base makeup, you guys. We haven't even gotten to the part where Patty starts telling you what she used on Sophia. So let's see what's next. For Sophia's cheeks, I use this Nude Sticks Matte in Sunkissed. This is the color Sunkissed, and Sunkissed actually comes in two colors, Sunkissed pink and sunkissed cool this is sunkissed cool because it looks like that's the product that she's holding up but either way it's pretty much the same color 
just for different skin tone. In the tube, it looks really, really pretty. So she puts like directly onto the cheek like this and then she blends out with her fingers. So that's what we're gonna do. I feel like it barely showed up. So let's try and use a little bit more. Okay, there we go. That's better. I'm gonna pat it in a little bit with a brush because I feel like the brush makes it show up more. But again, it is gonna be pretty subtle. Sometimes on different skin tones, you just gotta make different adjustments. That's really cute. On top of the sun kissed, I use this. This one's called Picante. Okay, so then on top of that, she used Picante, which is like this bright orange blush. As you guys know, I love orange blushes so much that I actually made one. So this is one of my favorite blushes too. Pretty much put this over top. I'm gonna blend it with my finger. Just gonna try and blend those together. Really gives you that sun kissed, glowy look. I'm about to marry into old money. This Chanel Stilo e Contour, number 12, and then blend it out. She's using this like eyeshadow pencil from Chanel and I bought it, but she's using the number 12. First of all, I can find number 12, but second of all, pretty sure that would not work for my skin tone at all. So I bought number four. The numbers for these Chanel eyeshadows seem to be really random. Okay, that is gorgeous. I haven't even blended it yet. And I feel like everything that she's using, all of these products are really, okay, that's so pretty. What the frig? Everything that they use is really beginner friendly. You can put everything on with your fingers and it looks fantastic. Honestly, you guys, and I hate to say this, I really do, but Chanel makeup is some of the best makeup out there. And I know you hate hearing that because it costs a million dollars. Like I'm being so messy and like not perfect at all. And it looks so good. On the lids, I use this gold gloss from Chanel Duo Lumiere palette. Sadly, it's no longer available. Sorry, but I'm gonna show you a hack. You take some gold eyeshadow, mix it into the balm for luminous gold glow. So next she used this gold eyeshadow, but they don't have it in stock at Chanel anymore. They don't sell it anymore. So what we're gonna do is, I went to Chanel and I got this. It's called the Multi-Use Glow Stick. And it's like this kind of shimmery bomb thing. You can take any gold eyeshadow, mix it together. I'm literally just mixing it on my arm. Again, it's supposed to be super subtle. You're not supposed to have like a huge strip of gold on your eye. And it's actually crazy to me that they're not using any powders at all. Cause like how? Are you supposed to prevent this from creasing? Maybelline Lash Sensational Waterproof. Sophia's wedding makeup was really all about just like fresh, clean, glowy. Next they used the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara and everybody was so surprised by this. They were like, oh my God, she bougie as hell. And she's a drugstore mascara. Oh my God, she's so down to earth. Rich people using mascara from the commoners. <laughs> Crazy. I've actually never used this mascara before. I hear it's good. I mean, Sophia used it, so. This is apparently her favorite mascara, even outside of her wedding. Oh my God, I just got a huge clump. Whoa, whoa, oh whoa, relax. Honestly, it's not my favorite mascara, but it'll do the job. It gives a lot of volume, but I feel like I prefer length over volume. I know there's better drugstore mascaras out there. I personally like L'Oreal Telescopic Lift, but I just mean. Okay, so this is the exact lip I used for Sophia for her wedding day. Rouge Coco Balm from Chanel, 928 Pink Delight. So I actually managed to get my hands on the exact lipstick. This was the last one that Chanel had, number 928 in Pink Delight. And I think that this would look great on a light to medium skin tone, but on me, I'm a little scared. Different colors look different on different skin tones. So while this color may look amazing on Sophia, on me, might look a little frightening. And she did also mention a lip liner. Topi Contour from Dibs. It's kind of, it looks kind of gray, but it actually is the most perfect lip pencil for giving a little hidden definition. The shade that she used in that lip liner would definitely be way too light for me. So I'm just gonna use my normal lip liner, which is Chestnut from MAC. Any brown lip liner will work though. If you're a lighter skin tone, definitely use the one suggested. I think it was like a little bit more gray toned, so it gives you kind of like a shadow effect. I think that if I'm able to use a brown lip liner, that the MAC lipstick might actually work. Mm. 
not the worst thing ever and the brown lip liner is definitely helping final touch makeup by mario this is soft sculpt transforming skin enhancer in light medium just adds a touch of sun kiss next she's going in with this bronzer from makeup by mario this is a cream bronzer still no powders everything that we're doing is making this look super sun-kissed and bronzy did she not put on any highlighter that girl just glows from within apparently lipstick is actually settled into my lips and it looks really good let's zoom you guys in look at that stunning final touch for the lip intense matte lip and cheek pencil from nude sticks sun-kissed nude and i use that a little bit in the center so last thing is to use the sun she used the sun-kissed lip pencil she used it right in the center okay guys i'm gonna cheat a little bit i am gonna take my one size translucent powder and of course i can't attend my own wedding wearing this even though it is a picture of my husband I brought two options, flowy or silky. Okay, you guys, I think I'm ready to walk down the aisle. Sophia, I'll never let you go again like I did. You guys, this look is so pretty. And I feel like it looks good on everybody because it accentuates your natural features. And the lip, I'm so surprised by the lip. I didn't think that the lip was gonna work on me at all, but it totally does. Now I'm dreaming about my own wedding. I'm gonna start planning. Am I engaged? No. Am I gonna start planning anyway? Absolutely. And thanks again to Kara for partnering with me on this video. And let's thank Sophia's makeup artist, Patty, for actually showing us which products these are, because a lot of these products I would have never even thought to pick up. And now I think I'm gonna add some of these into my everyday routine. I'm kinda liking this. I really enjoyed following along to this and like kind of pretending that it was my wedding today, even though all I'm doing today is getting my eyebrows done. Let me know if you would try this in the comments below or if you got anything out of this because I certainly did. And if I ever get married in the South of France to some rich British man, this is definitely what I'm gonna be wearing. Anyways, thank you guys for joining me in this video. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video video which is just gonna be in two seconds because you're just gonna click one of these girl all you gotta do is click on one of these to keep going and don't forget that i love you so 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 much